Hi, this is my third video on trigonometry. My first was an introduction to trigonometry, while the second was on finding the angles of right angled triangles using Sokotoa. My tutorial for today is on how to find the lengths of the sides of right angled triangles still using Sokotoa as a guide. So here is our guide. So as I mentioned before, SOH for SO means sine, which is equal to opposite side of hypotenuse. CA is for cosine, which is adjacent side over hypotenuse. And TOA, which is for tangent, and that means opposite side over adjacent side. Now let's have a go at the first question. We're going to work out the value of side x. We're going to identify what size are given and what are unknown. So we have 20 centimeters given. That's the side which is opposite the 90 degrees. And the side opposite the 90 degrees is the hypotenuse. And x is the side opposite 36 degrees, so that's our opposite side. So we're going to identify what function has the opposite side and the hypotenuse, and that is sine. Now using sine, we're going to find what is side x. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So let's substitute the given values. Sine of your angle 36 is equal to the opposite side, which is your unknown, all over the hypotenuse 20. So we want to get rid of 20 to find the value of x. So using balancing method, we're going to multiply both sides by 20. Or you could always just cross multiply that then as well. Although we'll use the balancing method for now. So we're going to cancel 20. And so we've got a value of x left on one side. And that's equal to 20 times sine 36. So we need to find the value of x using the calculator. So we've got this emulator here. We're going to click on 20 times sine 36 and close bracket equals and you have 11.755 and we're going to run off our answer to one decimal place so that's going to be 11.8 centimeters because it's the side so your x here is 11.8 centimeters so let's try this question. We're going to calculate the length of AB. And AB is this side here. Now we're going to identify the sides given and unknown. 14 is the side next to 48. That's going to be the adjacent side. And side AB is the side which is opposite 48. So that's going to be our O. So which function has the opposite side and the adjacent side? So that's O, A. So that's tangent. So tangent of your angle is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. Okay. So we're going to substitute given values. So tangent of 48 degrees is equal to opposite side, which is your A, B all over the adjacent side, which is 14. So we're going to find side AB. We're going to multiply both sides by 14 to get rid of that number. So you just have your AB on one side, so you can put it in the left, is equal to 14 times tangent 48 degrees. So we're gonna get our emulator again to calculate for, for AB. So that's going to be 14 times tangent 48, close bracket, and it is equal to 15.548. We're going to run off our answer to one decimal place, so that's 15.5. So side AB is equal to 15.5. So there's no unit for 14, so we don't need to put any particular unit. We could just put the word unit. So that's your side AB. So let's try this question. First we're going to identify the sides given and the side which is unknown. We have 7.5 centimeters. That's the side next to the angle 
So that's going to be our adjacent side. A is the longest side. This is a side facing the 90 degrees. So that's our hypotenuse. The function which uses A and H, so that's ka. So that's for cosine. So using cosine, we're going to find the length of side A. Cos of your angle, whatever your angle is, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So replacing, substituting the given values, theta or your angle is 55 degrees. So that's 55 is equal to the adjacent side, which is 7.5 divided by your hypotenuse A. Now, A is the side that you want, and it's in the bottom. You want it to go to the top there to find the value. So we're going to multiply both sides by A to cancel the off. And we have here A times cos 55 is equal to 7.5. We're going to divide both sides by cos 55 to cancel that out. So the same the other side, we call this balancing. What you do to one side, you do the same to the other side of your equation. So cancel that. So we have now just A on the left side and it's equal to 7.5 divided by cos 55 degrees. So we're going to get that calculator back and clear that out. And we're going to have 7.5 divided by cos of 55 degrees and that's going to equal to 13.075 run off to one decimal place that's 13.1 so side a is equal to 13.1 centimeters because you have centimeter on the other side a will be the same so that's 13.1 centimeter I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.